Hello, this Charles Folkart here on May 10th, 2017. I welcome all of you. Thank you for subscribing. There's been quite a few in the last month. I really appreciate your support. I also thank you for those of you who support this channel. It's uh, encouraging to say the least. Thank you again. I want to go into, oh, by the way, um, it's 7.08, so I don't start drinking till 8 o'clock, so this is just coffee for now, folks. All of you think because the LED light makes my red, my face look red that I'm a drunk. They call Jesus a wine bibber, so I'm in good company. Thank you. Ignatius of L Loyola. They call him a saint. Folks, we're all saints. If you're the elect and you've been chosen by God, you're a saint. But that's a different topic. I'm not going to go there. But they got this Ignatius of L Loyola. And I want the point I wanted to bring out here, he was a Spanish priest in the 14 and 1500s. And he founded a religious order called the Society of Jesus, also known as the J J Jesuits, and became its first superior general. Now, I want to tie this in with Bro Milton Kapner, and uh, also known as Nathaniel, in whom is no guile Kapner which I believe there's a connection here between Kapner, who is a Jew, who converted, he's a converso Jew, he's a modern-day converso Jew, and he's hoodwinking people because you think he's doing God's work by exposing the Jews. And I want to show you where I think you're wrong. Now, I know a lot of you shills, or most of you, think Wikipedia is a credible source. We've got to have a credible source. So I want to show you where Wikipedia is not a, quote, credible source, reliable source. You type in right here in the very bottom left-hand corner, you can do a Control-F, and you can type in a word. And I'm going to type in the word Jew, and you'll see in, in the red, there's no mention of the word Jew on this page for Ignatius. All right? Now, that's important, folks. They're hiding something from you. Okay? You've got to learn how to do your research. Don't just accept no for an answer. Ignatius was a converso Jew. Let's go look at that real quick, shall we? Now, we're at Israel Elect reference Willie Martin Ignatius of Loyola. And he says the first Jesuits were crypto Jews. That means they were hidden Jews. Crypto means um, hidden or in secret. They were secret Jews. Ignatius. Loyola himself was a crypto-Jew of the occult Kabbalah. A crypto-Jew is a Jew who converts to another religion and outwardly embraces the new religion while secretly maintaining Jewish practices. This isn't about Ignatius, so I'm going to stop there, but that's exactly what Brother Milton Kapner did. He converted as a Jew to what he says is Eastern Orthodox, but we caught him in 2002. He says he converted in 1971. Those are words out of his own mouth. So go watch the other 20 videos on Kapner before you show your stupidity and make a comment below because I'm tired of it. I'm not going to approve your comment because you don't know what you're talking about. But he, Kapner, converted to, quote, or he embraced 
the, quote, Jewish Messiah in 1971, and those are his own words. We found him, we caught him in 2002 for at least six months where he was homeless, and he went into a Jewish temple where in the Yarmulke. He's a Sephardic Jew, just like Ignatius, folks. He's a converso Jew. But let's move on. So I bring us here to Wikipedia. Again, the credible source, Adam Weishoff. I want to tie this in. He was in the 17 and 1800s. He founded the Order of the Illuminati in 1776, a secret society. And I want to point out to you that he was also a Jesuit, says right here. He, Weisoff began his formal education at age seven at a Jesuit school. He later enrolled at the University of uh, Ingolstadt and graduated in 70, 1768 with a law degree. He became a professor of law. Uh, Pope Clement IV suppression of the Society of Jesus in 1773. Weishaupt became a professor of canon law. The position was held exclusively by the Jesuits until that time. People say that he rejected or re no longer considered, uh, what's the word, um, he um, he, he came out against the secret society of Jesus, but that's a lie, and that's not the point of this video. The point is, he was a member of the society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuits. Okay, keep that in mind, that's important. We're here at uh, Henry Macau. Just real quick, I want to point out where Macau, who is a Jew, by the way, Trump is a Freemason and probably a crypto Jew, surrounded by Jews. The Masonic Jewish Illuminati goal, blah, blah, blah. You can come back here and read this later. Again, in Macau, keep in mind he's a Jew. He's not a converso Jew. He's just a Jew, and he, he doesn't try to hide it. I believe Donald Trump will win the presidency. And I'm going to scroll down here. I just want to make one point here. Macau says Donald Trump has been a part of the Masonic Jewish Illuminati cabal all his life. He is a crypto Jew. Alrighty. So he's tied in with the Illuminati. Okay. We know that um, Adam Weishoff was a Jew. I, can't, I didn't try to prove that to you. I can't prove anything to anybody. I can show you the evidence. I'm just going to tell you that I think Adam Weishoff was a Jew. He founded the Illuminati, 1776. The Now we come to the list of alumina, the alumni of Jesuit educational institutions. Over the last 400 years, the Roman Catholic Jesuit order has established a worldwide network of schools and universities. That's important. This predates the Jesuit order, predates Rothschild. That's important. Let's find out about Trump, shall we? Donald Trump, right here. He's an alumni of Fordham University. Fordham University is a Jesuit school. So who else was a president that graduated from Jesuit school? So we have Tim Kaine. That name sounds familiar to you people. How about John Kerry? Anybody recognize that name? I'm still here at Wikipedia for you that need a credible source. Here's Lyndon Baines Johnson. That name sound familiar to anybody? Okay, here we are in the seas. I want to draw your attention to Fidel and his brother, I believe it is, uh, Raul Castro. And there's another name I'm looking for. Let's scroll down here until I find it. There we are right there. Mr. Bill Clinton, Georgetown University. You can come back here and scroll down. Very educational people. A lot of our leaders. So we have... 
for sure LBJ, Clinton, and Trump, and John Kerry, who ran for president, etc. They're all involved with the Jesuits, folks. Trump spent two years for sure at a uh, Jesuit school. Two years is all you need to get uh, your education you get to be primed to be involved with Jesuits. Now, as I continue my, continue my research and I'm preparing to bring you Form 990 of Brother Nekapner's Tax Deductible Foundation, a 501c3 nonprofit, folks. He doesn't have to pay any tax on the money you send him. That's another subject. We'll get to that later. So I, I came here. Real Do News predates Kapner's YouTube channel. So I came here. I wanted to find out what Kapner has said about, guess who, the Jesuits. So I typed in right here the word Jesuits, and this is what I found, and this is what I want to show you. So on my computer, I can do a type, sorry, I can do a control F and type in a word at the bottom and hit this button, and it'll bring me right to it. And I found this, uh, I am perplexed, this was on 2012, I am perplexed. I am perplexed by those who blame the Zionist Jews, the Jews from the synagogue of Satan, for everything and others have evidence that the, quote, Jesuits are the real shakers and movers, and the Zionist Jews are their runners. I believe that they're a mixed bag of players doing Satan's bidding. Okay? The... Zionist Jews that Kapner points out are a minor player on the rung, on the rung of the ladder with the Jesuits out of Rome and the Black Pope at the top of the ladder. And they're all Jews, folks. Okay? What does Kapner say about the Jesuits? This is the only mention that I was able to find. I didn't look I didn't look very deeply, but this is the only mention and the first mention and really the only one you need. Let's have a look at what Kapner has to say. Now I'm here on the same page. I haven't moved. I just scrolled down a little bit and uh, and Brother Nathaniel he responds to this fellow Wooten or this person Wooten. The right therapy is honesty. I will continue being honest. We've already shown, I've already shown you where two places he's a liar. So he's lying here too. Okay? And he's going to name the Jew names in, hoping, in hopes of enlightening a few out of the myriads of those blinded by Jewish control of the media and education. Let's continue to scroll down. Here's the response that Kapner gives to this lady or person, Carmen Nova, and he says, the Jesuits today have absolutely no influence in world affairs as they did in the 17th century. Jewry is the in entity today and ever since the 17th, 18th century that has the power over what's over what was once Christendom. I will not tolerate this kind of disinformation with regard to the Jesuits. Today's Jesuits also have a great love for those simply wonderful, quote, Jewish people. So, there we go. He's not going to tolerate disinformation regarding the Jesuits. Now, one more time, I don't want you to miss this, because some of you people are going to miss this. Nathaniel Kapner says, the Jesuits today have absolutely no influence in world affairs as they did in the 17th century. And as an aside, this guy George S. says, it's sad to see only two have donated to your project. I know I did so, so I am one of the only two. Come on! If we are to change things, then we have to put our money where our mouths are and support Brother Nathaniel. And I'm suggesting nothing could be further 
from the truth. But let's move on. Oops! Nathaniel's lying again. He says the Jesuits today have absolutely no influence in world affairs as they did in the 17th century. I'm sorry, isn't that a Jesuit bishop with the little Jewish uh, yarmulke on the top of his head there? And we got President Trump and uh, opponent, quote, opponent Clinton sitting there right right hand side left hand side at the annual jesuit dinner and trump later in this video will tell you that he has fond memories of coming to this event as a young man he's been involved in the jesuits all of his life folks and clinton is right in there with him her husband bill clinton graduated from a Jesuit school and but yet Kapner is telling you again the Jesuits today in Kapner's own words have absolutely no influence in world affairs as they did in the 17th century that's at least the third lie we've called Kapner in on folks he's a liar so make no mistake about it this man here I don't know his name yet, or I forgot it. He's definitely influencing world affairs, wouldn't you say? Secretary of State, now the President of the United States. I want to show you one more person who was at this annual dinner. Well, here's this guy Kissinger back here. Gee, I wonder if he has anything to do with world affairs there, bro, Kapner. And I bring you here, this is pronounced a couple of different ways, coadjutor. And uh, it's a person who works with another. He's an assistant, a bishop, a person who contributes to the fulfillment of a need or furtherance of an effort or purpose. That's what Trump is. And that's what I believe your favorite Jew, converted, converso Jew, Kapner is. Kapner is a converso Jew being used by the Jesuits, in my opinion, as a coadjutor in pointing people to the Zionist Jews in Wall Street, to the Jewry everywhere, except to the Vatican, except to the Jesuits, except to Rome. Now, this is the very first video that Brother Nathaniel comes out with on his channel, and it's called A New Vision for America. And I'm going to let him tell you in his own words what he's all about, folks. Hello, everybody. My name is Brother Nathaniel Kapner, and I just began a new foundation called the Brother Nathaniel Foundation. It's a nonprofit corporation. And I want to tell you a little bit about it and why I started it. We have a problem here in America, and it is now time to speak the truth, the whole truth, frankly and boldly. Nor need we shrink from honestly facing the conditions in our country today. This great nation can endure as it has endured. It will revive as it has prospered in the past. But first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear are Zionist Jews themselves. That is the threat that America faces today. Zionist Jews have infiltrated and taken control of every sphere of our American government. Let's look at the political sphere first. I've long said we don't need Kapner to tell us about the Jews, folks. I've been saying that all along. I didn't learn anything new from Kapner. This is Frank Weltner, Jew Watch, and this is where I got a lot of my information on the Jew, including uh, 
uh, Daryl Bradford Smith's uh, website, which has now been taken off because uh, Daryl Bradford Smith is in France and he can't have the website there without getting into problems. And I think it was called, uh, let me think about it for a moment. Yes, yes, the French Connection. Okay, folks, there's too bad that site's been taken down, but you know, Kapner is not the first one to come out and expose the Jews, folks. And we don't need Kapner to lie to us about the, uh, the Jesuits who are Jewish involvement in world affairs. He's lying, which is no surprise to me. Jew watch, you type in the word Jesuits and you got all these articles about those that group folks do that same thing on Kapner's channels I did it on his video channel guess what you come up with folks a big zero again my contention is at this point in time Kapner is a co-adjutor for the Jesuits and the Jesuits are Jewish and they're the ones as I said before, that are at the top rung of the ladder, not the Zionist Jews of Israel and Wall Street in London. They're subordinate to those in Rome in the Black Pope. So I bring you here to my playlist on Brother Nathaniel, in whom is no guile, captor. And I suggest you watch these videos first before you make a stupid comment below this video because you only watch one video. We've caught Christian Kapner in three big lies, folks. How many more lies do you need? And he formed a 501c3 foundation to dupe you into thinking that Kapner is somehow telling you the truth. And I've been telling you all along, he's omitting the most important truth. And that most important truth is the Jesuits, the Jewish Jesuits from Rome, are the ones that are controlling world affairs. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting this channel. May the grace of God, the non-Jewish God, and his son, the non-Jewish kinsman redeemer who came to redeem his people the offspring the sons the family the house of jacob israel who were not jewish and kapner doesn't tell you that either that's another lie by omission may god's grace and the grace of his son be with us all for we certainly need it see you <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.